Hey, hey guys, we are back for another video. And let me kind of explain to y'all something. When I'm talking, and especially when I'm just talking on my videos, I have to kind of make my voice excited and not give you guys monotone voice because it sounds duh. Because some of y'all be in the comments like, why you so happy? It's not that I'm happy or even really happy about what I'm reporting on. It's just if I don't project my voice, it sounds crazy for y'all to listen. So I just felt like I needed to get that out of the way because I'm not happy about Yandy and Mendeecees. And that is what I need to be talking about for this particular video. Now, I don't know if you all had the opportunity to watch Love and Hip Hop, but baby, we've been talking about this for some time. And guess what? I hope that they make it. Maybe they just need to get off this ghetto show because, baby, I don't think that it's going to work out how Yandy wants it to work out. And of course, guys, before we get into the video, I do need to make sure you guys are liking up the video. Make sure you guys share the video. And as always, I want to know what you guys think in the comments. Also, guys, if you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe and also enable your bell notification so you do not miss out on a video. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Right. Eh? Yes. Now listen, I don't want y'all to mistake this. I like Yandy and Mendeecees, but all I see is trouble. Because listen, don't ever move your husband down to Atlanta. <laughs> okay, I'm joking, but I'm serious. They should have stayed in New York. But here is the deal, honey. This is what I've heard. Have y'all ever heard this? You lose them how you get them. Yeah, I know y'all heard that saying before because Yandy, when you met him, he had a whole bunch of women, but I feel like Yandy projected her, you know, her hustle mentality and he knew what she was about. And I feel like he just soaked it all up because y'all listen, Mendeecees has been telling us for some time now that it's been trouble in paradise, but ain't nobody been listening. Frustrating. I don't know how long I can tolerate this. We had the breaking point whether we gonna sink or we gonna swim. Could you ever see yourself actually divorcing Andy? <sighs> I don't know. I ask myself that question every day and can't come up with an answer. Yanni make all the decisions that she wanna make for herself. Maybe that's how you took that role when I was gone, but you, you I'm here now. You, you need to slow the And I'm gonna say it again. I like these two together, but y'all, it is some trouble in paradise. What we saw on tonight's episode is, if you guys have been watching, Mendeecee says that he lost his ring. Now, you know what? I don't feel like, I don't feel shit because this is not my problem, but this feels a little weird. He lo he loses his ring, right? This is what he's saying. So if he wants another one, he has the means to purchase another one. Why does Yandy have to go buy him a ring to ensure that he wears it? That seemed like it's giving and doing too much. I feel like he's not wearing his ring because he wants to be out here in these streets and the women who may be looking for a ring, they don't see a ring and who knows what may happen. So that is a little strange that Yandy is pushing the narrative for this man to wear a ring. He can wear a ring, don't have to wear a ring. He's still married. So I get it. She wants him to wear a ring, but he has to want to wear a ring. And I don't, it don't seem like he want to wear it, ma'am. And the situation with him cheating now, we been hearing about this for a minute. So is everybody lying on him? He knows these rumors are out there and every rumor is not true, but y'all know how the saying goes. There's even truth 
in some lies. And they have been saying that Mendeecees is out here in these streets. Well, Mendeecees has been cheating on Yandy since they got on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. And I know a couple of women that he was looking at when I was over at T. High's house about a year ago. Let me tell you something. Yandy ain't exciting him no more. Let me tell you something, Mendeecees is cheating on Yandy, loving hip hop Atlanta. Are you getting this? Are you following me? The AA show is reporting live, loud and proud, honey. And I got calls from people on the show. I've gotten calls from people in the street. Yandy, Mendeecees is cheating on you. Alexis don't know about it, but guess what? I told her about it. So guess what, honey? You need to keep your man on lockdown, honey, because ever since he moved up out of that house, honey, he been fucking everything else, y'all right. wind up. Next case. Well, honey, you need to keep your man on lockdown, honey, because ever since he moved up out of that house, honey. <laughs> Hello, AA show. Hello. Yeah. You're not being a good host. Yandy, Yandy, has, Yandy is washed up, girl, but okay. I think the small not, place at her okay. restaurants we're, is we're good. We're not going to talk about Yandy because I like her. I like Yandy, but Yandy, you need to do a, do a better job at choosing men, girl. Mendeecees is cheating on you, girl. You thought he was going to get out of the halfway right, house and only want to ejaculate in you, girl? Next case, girl, but I love you dearly, girl, and the food is good at the restaurant. I need a free plate when I come. <laughs> After you just said all that, you want a free plate? You think she's gonna give you? He said he wanted a discount on you wants a free plate. But you think she's gonna give you a free plate? After girl, if she wanna figure out who I man sleeping with, girl, she better. <laughs> Girl, cause Sierra and I'm not about to keep it real with her. I am, girl. And Alexis ain't gonna tell you, girl. Your man is cheating, girl. I don't, I don't know. Your man is cheating on you. So, now, guys, it was important for me to bring you guys that clip because that was one of the clips that kind of went viral about a year or so ago maybe not quite a year but i wanted to bring that up because now we're on to the show and what happened tonight is that jasmine brought one of her friends acquaintances and the girl is saying that her friend is in some kind of side chick relationship with Mendeecees. But what the lady said was that in so many words that her friend was not the only one. So she's saying that Mendeecees is out here cutting up in these ATL streets. And um, what we saw was that Yandy almost got into a fight with the lady, which was a whole nother, you know, we're not going to talk about that part. Um, but let's kind of get into some of that. Oh, right here. I know that's right. Yeah, have you met Mendeecees? No. You, I don't look familiar to you? No. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's interesting. Whoa. <laughs> she worked at the same <laughs> bar as me, and you have been to both of our bars before. Uh, well, I, yeah. I don't I came in for liquor, not your girls. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't recognize y'all. Uh, I would oh. say the same thing if right. I was you. Okay. We ever had a conversation? No, not nothing besides like, can I get? You know oh, what I'm saying? Okay. Like, no, I never, I never said it was anything oh, like say, that. I, no, no, I no, no, wouldn't no, remember no, no, no. that though. All I Listen, said was I, that you've been to my bar I, a couple times. You know, right, I work I at a strip club. Okay. The conversation we had is to ask for a drink, right? Right. That's it. I wouldn't remember that. All I can do is speak my truth. That's what right. I've been doing. All this rumors and stuff that what people saying is not true. This is what I've been saying the whole time. I don't know that girl. I just ordered a drink. Listen, y'all have a great night. Rich, I apologize. Yeah. Apologize, yeah. see you later. I, I, I should have done. That's why I, I, I mean, I can leave, but I, I wasn't done. You're done. She's not done. We done. You go home. Erica Racine just so happens to be good friends with one of the girls that Mendeecees is having an affair with. She's scared to come forward, but it's been happening for a while now. Y'all, it is something going on here in paradise. For one, this woman is saying she is naming names, honey, and I got to figure out and find out who this woman is. Not only is this lady naming names of her friend, who is in this side chick relationship with Mendeecees, she almost made it seem as if the girl knows that, you know, Mendeecees is with a lot of chicks because that is how she brought it to Yandy. But Yandy almost wanted to get in a fight with the girl. I'm just like, girl, you need to be having your ears open. But the fact that Yandy wasn't open to hear almost seems like they have some kind of thing going where perhaps he can actually mess with other women and just not 
bring it to her or something like that. Y'all, there's women out here that allow their husbands to be with other women as long as it don't, you know, touch home. But it's just something going on with this relationship. <laughs> I mean, Mendeecees cut cut the heck up out of there. He was ready to go. Yandy didn't want to hear anything as if she did not hear this before. And then Mendeecee says, I only go to the strip club for the drinks. That's not what you go to the strip club for. So the fact that you would say that, I mean, this is given everything, but what he said is true. Like there is definitely something going on with these two. And I don't know, I feel like Yandy is smart enough that she possibly knows this. And the fact that she's pushing a man to wear a wedding ring who said he lost it, who definitely has the financial means to buy a new one, but you got to go buy it for him. Yeah, this is given very much. He cheating on your ass. And guys, as always, make sure you are liking the video. Make sure you go ahead and share the video. And as always, let me know what you guys think in the comments.